All right, the next thing we're gonna do here is all these cords here that are connected to the actual case and uh, control um, you know, things from the case itself. The LED light, the audio, the USB port in the front, and all the reset and power and the LEDs on the front. We're gonna connect them now. So this offers me the option to do HD audio or just regular audio. Obviously, this board supports HD audio, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Uh, the front ports are a, uh, a, a microphone and a headphone jack. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is plug this in, just the HD one, into this port down here. Actually, it's not a port, but it's uh, some pins. I'm gonna move this camera here. And on my motherboard here, it's right here, right above the power supply where I'm pointing. It's just a set of, uh, what is it, nine pins. And so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna plug it in there and uh, get that out of the way. So we'll have one less cord to worry about. Now I'm just gonna kinda run it along the bottom of the motherboard here. And uh, here we go. All right, plugged in, one down. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna plug in is the front USB. So we are gonna put it, there's a bunch of USB connectors down here at the bottom. I'm just gonna choose one, I'm gonna choose this one. Uh, in my case, it's USB 10, and uh, I'm gonna plug that in there. All right, plugged in. Now we only have two more wires from the front of the case. One is for the LED power, which I'll show you later. And then this, I don't know if you can read it there. It's a power, reset, PLED, and HDD LED. Now with the motherboard, it came with this little adapter here. I'm gonna use the white adapter on this. And I'm just gonna rip it open here. I'm gonna use the white adapter. Now it has pins up top here. And what, basically what you wanna do is just match these to here. So PLED, there's PLED minus, which is this one. So that matches up with that pin. Then there's PLED plus, and it matches up with this pin. Then there is reset, and that is on the other side of this. So the reset is on the bottom. Let's see, which one was it again? That's the power. Reset is on the bottom. Reset, and then power ground. Uh, you know, the power, the ground comes in the power, so plug that in. And then the IDE LED, which is the hard drive LED, so plug that in. All right, so all of these 
are now plugged in. And this will fit down here on the bottom. And I'll show you that right now. All right, now if you look in the case here in the lower right hand corner here where I'm pointing is where I'm gonna plug this in. Basically all I wanna do is match up the, um, the pins with the end there and then slip it on very carefully and then that will be connected. So let me do that here. Slide it on real easily, and there we go. That was real easy. All right, the next part of this installation is this expansion bracket here. And it has two USB 2.0 ports. Not that I need them, because I got a bunch of USB ports on the back of this. And another SATA port. Now, originally I thought I had three uh, I had to use three of the SATA connectors in this motherboard, but I'm actually going to have to use four. So um, what I had done was the front port I had attached to this uh, SATA E1 port here. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to put it in line with uh, the other SATAs here, just on the regular um, ports here on the side. And hopefully I'll be able to do this without any major problems because I'm going to have to squeeze my finger in there. So um, let's see if I can get that done. I'm going to put it in port number three, which is actually under port number one. And uh, so it shouldn't be too difficult to do that. I just got to push it back in a little bit. And let's see. I'm going to have to grab it from the other side. Without a hitch. I might have to remove number one to do this. This is such a tight, tight quarters in here. Alright, removed number one. Pushing it back a little. Let's see if we can get number three in here. I need some baby hands some hobbit hands or something to get these in here. Actually aren't hobbit ha hands fat and stubby. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Plugged in. No problems. No worries. Now I gotta get number one back in. Wow. This is tight. There we go. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this expansion. So I'm going to put it for the sake of keeping this case clean. I'm going to keep it down as far as possible, so I'm going to put on the last expansion slot. Right now I don't have any uh, cards or anything in there, so I don't have to worry about it. At a later date, if I did go with a crossfire setup, this is where uh, that would go. But I don't have to worry about that right now. So... We're just going to put this in. This is going to be real easy. Real easy installation here. Just slide it in. And mount the screw. And it's in. Now all I have to do is connect it. One is a SATA cord. And we're actually going to take this SATA cord and put it where I had originally the front case SATA cord. So we're just going to plug it in right up here in the SATA E1 port. And then the USB we're going to stick down here close to where we put the, uh, the other USB which is going to be right here. Okay. 
So we're going to slide that in. And then we're going to attempt to clean some of this these wires up a little bit here. So what I'm going to do right now is install the liquid cooling heat sink on the on the CPU. And then all we have to do is attach a couple cords here and there and uh, then we'll tidy this up and put it all back together and fire it up.